Wednesday treat for Mules basketball fans here at the Mall Tie today in Warrensburg. This is a very, very big game. Mules hosting Lindenwood. These teams are tied for the top spot in the MIAA standings. So this win is absolutely essential to where we're going to end up in the seedings for the upcoming MIAA tournament. Identical 11-4 MIAA records for the Mules and Lions, but the only loss they have in common is Central Oklahoma. Sophomore Kyle Wolf, a Lenexa, Kansas native, awarded the Leland R. Stewart Memorial Basketball Scholarship before the game. Let's jump into the highlights. It takes almost eight minutes for Lindenwood to score, but UCM gets after it right away. Jordan Epps with a jumper from 15 feet, 9-0 Mules in the first half. Epps again, this one a long ball as the shot clock expires. 14-3 UCM at the 11 minute mark. Let's cut it down to three minutes on the clock. Preston Bruns buries one from three point range on his birthday. That puts the Mules up 24 to 10. It's 24-14 at halftime. UCM defense allows Lindenwood to make just six field goals in the first half. Lions are 0 of seven from beyond the arc. A little run for the visitors in the second half, though. Sam Mater's long jumper makes it a six-point game, 33-27. Brad Woodson has an answer for that. Mules back up eight with 10 minutes left. Rakeem Dickerson on a fast break here. Four Lindenwood players have time to get back, but Dickerson uses his fancy moves to score. 41-30 Mules. Nice crowd on hand. Everyone really into the game, but this is what got them on their feet, and I'm just going to let you watch. Brennan Hughes, ladies and gentlemen. Six minutes left in this game. It's 43-33 UCM. We'll go to less than a minute on the clock, and suddenly Lindenwood can't miss. Lions have made it a six-point game, but a jumper from Brad Woodson puts it back out to eight, 49, 41 mules. In that last minute, Lindenwood hits four three-pointers. They get as close as three here with 4.4 seconds on the clock, 56-53 but Dickerson seals the win on foul shots with help earlier at the line from Hughes, Woodson, and Bruns. Nationally ranked number 19, Central Missouri takes over the top spot in the MIAA standings, undisputed, with a 58-53 win over Lindenwood. Yeah, the effort on the defensive end uh, was just really, really good. The guys were locked in and focused. We had two really good days of prep on Thursday and Friday, just guarding the motion. I thought we were physical. I thought we, we did a good job with them on the boards, which we did at their place. Uh, you know, and just really, uh, especially Preston Bruns, it really sticks out in my mind that we did a great job on uh, Corey Arnson. But, but as, a, as a team, we did a great job. We didn't see him in the highlights, but T.J. White led the Mules in scoring with 11 points. He also completed a double-double, pulling down 10 rebounds. Preston Bruns and Brad Woodson both finished with 10 points. Brennan Hughes had nine points and 11 rebounds. Rakeem Dickerson scored eight. Yeah, we uh, made some adjustments at halftime, but mainly we just we just had to keep the ball hot, keep moving, you know, side to side, make the defense move, and you know, we our good adjustments were, you know, having TJ come in from the backside or even Woody or Wolf, and it worked out good. Mules improved to 21 and four on the season, 12 and four in the MIAA, and get a week off after Saturday's game. Central Missouri will be back on the court Saturday, February 21st, hosting Southwest Baptist. Reporting at the Multi in Warrensburg, I'm Katie Smith for UCMAthletics.com.